Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be continuing to explore this uh, 1258.2 update and we're going to take a look at the impact of time on target versus the conga line method versus the massed air raid method and uh, see what method is going to work best as far as ensuring that we have a successful mission and we bring as many planes back home as possible. So let's take a look at this thing. Oh, Ash Ali E. <laughs> We're in uh, Kyrgyzstan today, and you know, we have ourselves a randomly generated set of uh, targets here, a bunch of factories, and of course, we're protected by these three SAM sites. Of course, I can't count because there's actually a fourth SAM site, but we can't see that one just yet. Oh, there he is. Cool. So what we're going to do today is we're going to set up a mission where we're going to bomb these targets with a bunch of B-29s, and we're going to use it three different ways. We're going to start by using the uh, conga method, like I said a minute ago, and that's basically we send a bunch of groups of four out and try to do as much damage as we can. Then we're going to try the mass bombing raid method. We're going to launch 24 at a time and see what happens, and then we're going to try this brand new time on target method, and we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and get to it. So let's grab all our targets here. I'm going to press control F11. Uh, mission, um, um, boom. <laughs> Why not? Make sure you set this land strike. By the way, I've made that mistake more times than I care to admit to. So the first method we're going to use is the conga line method. So I'm going to grab all my B-29s, toss them in here, and I'm going to go ahead and set my flight size. Remember in the old days, bomber groups are usually little cells of three. Uh, we could do up to six if we need. We will do cells of, um, we'll call this cells of six. We'll make it interesting. Well, let's see, fuel and ordnance looks good, looks good, looks good. Number of, uh, we're not going to worry about that. Off axis, we're not going to do that today. Like I said, we want to test the conga line method first. We can make this one time only if we have to. Uh, we can include this in the ATO, which is a good choice. Now, I'm not going to set a takeoff time or anything like that. We're just going to let this flight go as is. So to kind of kick things off and I get them moving quickly, I'm actually going to go to my little airbase here, and I'm going to launch them manually. Now, you're probably saying, why are you uh, not just letting the thing do it itself? Well, if you do that that way, it's going to take a few moments for the a system to recognize the fact that you're launching these together. So what I want to do is I want to launch them as a bunch of groups, like I said, so I don't have to wait. All right, let's test it. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Here comes the conga line method. Now you probably said, why do you call this the conga line method? I think you can see for yourself why I call it that. Now one thing I'll do for us real fast is I'm actually gonna shut this off so you can see what we're doing here. There we go. So the, like I said, this is the conga method because basically everyone, as soon as they take off, uh, they just make themselves a beeline towards the target region and they just go. <laughs> so now what I expect to happen now is I expect a bunch of uh, SAM-2s to be starting to make their way upwards here pretty much any time. These are the old SAM-2s, these are the A models. Like I said, I want the Cold War database today because I knew that this would be the best way to do it. So here comes the first SAMs. Whoop, whoop. We lost the B-29, right? Whoa, here they come, here they come. Whoa, whoa. Bombs away, bombs away, bombs away. Bop, 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 bop. All right, cool. So let's see what happened there. Let's go ahead and I'll load up the mission here. Uh, we've lost, uh, we blew up a couple buildings. Uh, they fired 30 SAMs, so they've been busy. Uh, we lost nine B-29s using the conquer method here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly reset the scenario. All right, we're gonna switch over to blue team here. Whoop. And we're gonna do it again, but this time we're gonna try out the masked bombing raid method. So what I'm gonna do is grab all these guys right here. Control F11. Uh, Buma Shutas. I think we have some kind of reference to Warhammer in there somewhere. I can't quite figure it out though. So I'm gonna grab all the B-29s again, and I'm gonna put them in a flight size of 24. <laughs> Like I said, I call this the uh, mass bombing raid method, the uh, World War II method, if you prefer. So let's grab all these guys, launch them as a group, and we'll see what happens this time. So keep in mind, we lost nine planes last time, and we got two. Now this is going to take them in. Here they go. Here we go. Oh, man, I so want to hold on, hold on. Let's have a little bit of fun here. Oh, <laughs> you got to see this in 3D. This is so satisfying. One of the first missions I ever did in command was actually do this with like a 1,000 bomber raid because I'm a terrible person, and it was awesome. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now that's what I call a bombing raid. Now one fun thing you can do is you can hit F4 and you can actually dial in the formation if you wanted. So if you wanted to, you can make this the world's like the longest like skirmish line or something like that. I don't necessarily recommend that for today. I feel like that's a different video, but um, let's have some fun. So anyway, get you guys going up to Kyrgyzstan, will ya? So these guys are gonna come ripping across the mountains here. Remember, we lost quite a few last time and this is a large group. Here they go. So we're gonna be flying. Now, I always think of that great scene from uh, Star Wars uh, when they're making their trench run here and there's just explosions. Of, actually, let's call it Empire Strikes Back when they're trying to basically make their run on the AT-ATs and there's just explosions everywhere. It's definitely gonna be one of those kind of situations. So anyway, here comes my giant mass of bombers. Here comes the Sams. Oh, that guy ran away right away. Oh, here they come, here they come. Bring on the Sams, bring on the Sams. Ba -ba 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 <laughs> It's lagging my computer. <laughs> I always like that because um, it always like, ooh, ooh, 
couple people forgot. Oh, we had some uh, last minute uh, trigger pullers here. So uh, one thing you got to watch out for is because of this technique, unfortunately, um, every single one of the targets was only assigned one attacker. So we'd have to go back and change the WRA to enable more than one attacker here. So we're going to go sneak back out there and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the results. There might be some last minute samming. Nope, no last minute samming here. Oh, well, so let's go losses and expenditures. Oh, we got a communications hub. Nice. They fired half of the missiles that we fired earlier. You notice that? And also, if we come down here, we lost one less bomber. So what does that tell you? Uh, that tells you that this method is actually a little bit better because they didn't have as much time to reload. And now if I play with my WRA a little bit, I could have made it so everybody dropped their bombs and ran, in which case we probably would have saved a B-29. So let's go ahead and reload the scenario. And now we're going to try the new TOT method and see if there's any difference. In my opinion, it's probably going to be about the same. But like I said, let's test it. Let's test it. This is what we're here to do. So let's grab this group right here. Control F11. Uh, Meltas, um, uh, fly, uh, fly, uh, boys. There we go. We'll do some uh, fly boys here. Press that one. We'll do a land strike. I made that mistake more times. Like I said, then I care to admit. Grab all the B-29s. We're going to do them in nice groups of six with a time on target. Let's see. This is about a four-hour flight. Uh, let's see. 250, 120. And uh, so we're probably going to have to set this for, uh, let's see here, time on target. So let's see, right now it's set for nine. That's not possible because the nine, oh wait, we're Zulu time, Zulu time, Zulu time. So we'll go ahead and set it for 10. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and click on the ATO. We're gonna have nothing on the ATO just yet. So go ahead and close that. And we're gonna have to speed up time a little bit here so that the ATO recognizes uh, what we've done here. Pop, 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 pop. Do, 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 do. All right, go ahead and I'll press F11 there. Let's see if the ATO has uh, populated here, good. So our takeoff time is going to be 11.40. Uh, that's local. Oh, I love how it gives you a local time. So that's a 7.40. That's an hour from now. Ready to go. And you thought I was going to make you wait. All right. Everybody's on the way. So what's going to happen now is uh, we're going to go ahead and launch everybody. We've got everybody uh, taken off here. Like I said, nothing crazy going on. Remember, these are using the new time on target technique here. So everybody is kind of doing their little ziggy zag. And we are all airborne, and we're heading towards the target. Oh, that guy's speeding up. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Look at that, look at that. So now what's happened is everybody is a group up together, and you can see that this is extremely similar to what we saw earlier. As a matter of fact, if I switch over to my treaty view here, let's go ahead and I'll pick one of these guys as a victim. Obama's. Notice, doesn't this look familiar? It should, because this is the same pattern we saw earlier. So let's go ahead and now go ahead and rip them along. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and do the strike. I have a feeling it's gonna be about the same, actually. Looking at my watch, uh, they're supposed to be over the target at exactly 10 o'clock. Uh, we're looking at 9.51, 9.52, 53. Ooh, somebody in the, one of the nine navigators is going to get fired here. You guys are just, oh, here comes the Sams. Oh, boy, here comes another one. Whoa, there comes another one. Oh, 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 oh. These Sams are just having a good day today. Of course, they, um, wow. Basically, that front group took everything, <laughs> and the rest of them are just kind of cruising on in here. So we had two get through, and uh, they get dropping on pretty much right away there. And let's see how that goes. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, that's B-29 bombing accuracy for you. Here comes the rest. Boom, 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 That's exactly what I feel like that would sound like. Okay, so now we're going to turn around and run for our lives as fast as we can and get out of here. So we got two, which is good. Um, they got out the least number of SAMs so far. Now, the interesting thing here is, remember how we had that early group kind of take the damage, and then the rest of the groups just kind of waltzed in and did their thing? That was because of this. Now, look at this. We lost the least number of B-29s because that sacrificial group basically wasted everybody's time while everybody else got their thing into position. And because they had more time to choose their target, we didn't have the issue where we kept zigzagging over the top of the target itself. Okay, that was, um, I'm not going to call it unexpected. I'm just going to call that awesome. Yes, we did not cross the target on time. Now, you probably noticed when I set up the scenario that we actually have two sets of aircraft here. Uh, we have an airbase over here, and then we have an airbase up here. Uh, the reason I did that is because up here, I have a bunch of B-47s. Now, I love the Cold War database. If uh, the people at command decided to take away all the databases but leave one, I would ask for the Cold War databases, the database I'd hang on to. I just, I don't know. It's just, it's just shiny airplanes that didn't work well. It's just cool. Strike again. Uh, what do we call this? Um, exterminatus. <laughs> so now I'll show you the real recent time on target is amazing.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to order Exterminatus on this particular target. We're going to do groups of six. Now notice here that we're going to have two different groups. Uh, we'll save the time on target again. We'll go ahead and select it. We'll assume a time of, let's see, at 9 o'clock. It's actually probably a pretty fair time. Um, we're going to set our time to 0930. Whoa, helps if you're on the right part of the keyboard when you go to type that. Colon 30 and 00, zero seconds. So that's going to be very, 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 very interesting. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, of course, is um, because we're going to doing Exterminatus here, um, X off axis attack would be super fun to play with, but I'd rather just overwhelmed because I actually have a dual axis attack here. But one thing I do want to do, and uh, this is really, really important, is mission. We're going to go to uh, WRA. Uh, we have a bunch of different types of bombs here. Um, obviously, for these, notice that it's going to say fire all uh, to meet you, whatever. We can go ahead and do things like this, or we say, uh, just use two, please. So I'm going to go down to land contact. I'm just going to order two each. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I want these guys to kind of help out a little bit. So we're going to do two units each, a runway facility unspecified. You can go ahead and use two of those too. I don't expect any mobile targets, but uh, why not? So now our WRA is a little bit more open here. And obviously we can be very, 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 very picky and precise with this. You can set this to one bomb. So everybody drops one bomb, like each person contributes one. That's just, I don't know, I find that a little gamey, but that's okay. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do too is under mission, under MCON, uh, we're going to go ahead and assume this is going to be orange, and we're going to allow for radar active here. Uh, the reason we're going to do that is we're going to go ahead and say use it for when we're on our attack leg to Winchester. And of course, we're going to come down here, engage until Winchester, continue mission um, when the mission target is destroyed. Again, we can keep going. Uh, that's a useful thing to do. So now this is the real reason that the time over target is incredible. So I have two separate bases, two drastically different airspeeds that I'm working with here. Oop, probably should have inspected what time we're actually taking off here. Check the ATO. Let's see here. No second. I love this. This is so cool. I love it. This is so nice. I'm so glad they added this. Also, this is a nice little lock button, which I think is a kind of a nice touch there. So you can actually do one of these things. And you can actually pull all the way to the right. You can see where we're landing. You can see my flight size. You can see a priority. You can even like uh, turn down the priority. Like it's, it's so cool. I also like how they have all this in here, but um, I can't change any of these yet. Like I said, at some point, they'll probably open this up a little bit so we can have a little bit more. I like how this is planning. Uh, no, you guys aren't planning. You guys are just sitting around and relaxing. All right, so their takeoff time is going to be, uh, let's see here, we need uh, Zulu time. They're going to be taken off at 7.10. So looking at the clock there, we got about an hour. Fortunately, this is command. Da -ba -ba. Ready, on my mark, it's set, lag the computer. All right, here we go. Now my B-29s are off. Now this is using the same strategy we used this last time. The only difference is the fact that we have a group of B-47s that are basically going to jump in on the flight at the last second. Watch this. There they go. So there's a B-47, mass cart 8-9, Century 1-1. One, one. Look at this, look at this. Oh, look at how much faster they are than the B-29s. Okay, so now this is what I call panic. You know, if I'm sitting there at the target region, I'd be like, okay, looks like the B-29s are going to take it. But notice, as the B-29s are getting whacked, out of nowhere, a bunch of B-47s show up. Now, the B-47s are very capable platforms. And actually, what I'm finding very interesting here, and I don't know why this is, oh, it's because the B-47s have better knowledge of when they're being dropped, uh, being attacked. Oh, I should have ordered them not to evade, because you're not going to be able to evade it anyway. So B-47s are also at stupidly low altitudes here as they're ripping in here. So my casualties are going to be very, very, very high. Boom, 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 boom. All right, everybody run, 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 run. Okay, let's see how terrible that was. I have a feeling I lost far more than I needed to for that particular assault. All right, let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight targets destroyed, which is the best we've done so far. Um, they went through actually not a lot of missiles, not nearly as bad as the conga line method here. Losses, three. Isn't that incredible? So now it's really neat that we basically oversaturated and distracted them and did the maximum amount of damage to them. Honestly, they were wasting under the B-47s here. These things have really, really good ECM. And this guy, I think he's kind of getting my home. Oh, let's see what he lost here. Uh, that got wrecked. It got wrecked. What? Why does he have a SATCOM? Uh, let's see, lost an engine. Look at that. And he's coming home proud. All right, so hopefully this video is helpful. I think the uh, biggest takeaways, at least for me, in uh, building this video was realizing the time over target is great because it creates its own artificial stupidity in the sense that that one group basically took everything and all the other groups just kind of waltzed in and did their thing. But you could also see how valuable it was for coordinating multiple strikes at the same time. Enjoy.